Today, I'm going to show you guys how I make dough in my FAMOG mixer. This is the IM8S. This is for high hydration. Um, I really, really love this mixer. It has done me really well when I do my big batches of dough. Um, you could do small batches, but again, you know, this is primarily used uh, for some big batch doughs. I've had this mixer now going on about seven months, and I, I just love it. it it's perfect. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so let's just go ahead and get to it now. Again, this is going to be a pretty big batch dough for eight dough balls. Basically, again, we have some two uh, here that basically unscrew and the top comes up and you can see um, the big spiral mixer, the spiral here. Uh, you got your controls right here on the side. And basically, again, this does come off, which I love perfectly. They do have another model, uh, which this base does not come off. So basically, all you got to do is you twist to the right or to the left, actually, to unlock. And you twist to the left to lock it in. So uh, let's go ahead and get this taken off. And then we'll go ahead and get some dough made. And so basically, all I'm just going to be making just is my simple, you know, Polish dough. Again, I will link that above. Um, I got my Polish here. I have... Uh, 780 grams of double zero flour, 36 grams of salt, and then I got my ice cold water here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the Polish and the 420 grams of water into the bowl, and then we'll go ahead and get you guys uh, showing on how the mixer works. So now that I got my Polish into my bowl, um, again, like I said, I use ice cold water because again, whenever you are mixing with the mixer, uh, it tends to get heat, it heats the dough up just a little bit, not too, too, too much, but again, ice cold water. Um, and again, that's just up to you as how cold you want that water. So like I said, the bowl does lock in there, locks in there really, really nice. So it's not going to go anywhere. And basically again, uh, this comes down, this closes. And then again, on you have your two on the side here and basically you just go ahead and lock this down. Um, and again, it just kind of locks like this. As you see, can you see, it has two. And again, here on the side, you're gonna have, uh, for your speed, it goes from zero all the way up to 10. Um, so that shows that. Also has the kill button here, um, forward and reverse. Also, what's good about this mixer is that when you are running it, which I'll show you, um, this does cut the power off. So it's just, you know, again, a safety feature. So let's go ahead and get this mix. And I'd like to start it off around three. We hit four just to get the polished mounted. Um, and I have a timer here, which, which I like to use. Um, so we'll go ahead and just run this for a minute. Kind of just get that polish to mount down just a little bit more. As you can see, the bowl does move, which is really, really nice. So you really don't want to put your hands anywhere near it, uh, but it does go you know, in the circle. All right. So it is pretty quiet, not super, super loud. If I do want to go up higher again, I just have to turn that knob there. And basically, like I said, we're just getting that Polish mounted down again. My Polish recipe, I will put the link above um, and I'll also post a recipe down below for this specific batch that I am doing. And like I'll show you here, once the mixer is going, Again, if you pull it up, it does stop, so it does kill it, which is really, really nice. You know, you're not gonna get your hand stuck in there and, you know, hurt yourself. So let's just kind of finish mixing this up. And I'll also post a link below of where I did get this mixer. This is only for US buyers only. Unfortunately, if you are in a different uh, country, um, you can sure find this. It is made in Italia, which is really, really nice. So let's go ahead and get that and then we'll go ahead and now we'll get all the other pro other flour, salt, everything else in and then I'll kind of show you guys how this thing continues to mix and bring it brings everything together. So I've added about 50% of the flour in so now we're going to kind of just get that to mix up a little bit more and as you can see it is starting to kind of bring it together. Um, so again we'll kind of just let that go for eh, a minute or so and then I'll start adding slowly the rest of the flour as well as the remain as the salt as well. So that's kind of coming together. And we could actually get the salt in as now. And as you can see, it's still mixing it pretty slow right now. Eight is around four to five. Um, usually when I do start mixing a lot more, I do try to bring it up to about seven is the fastest that I go. I don't go too, too quick with it. And 
in so let's go ahead now while that is looking pretty good we'll go ahead and get the remaining flower so again you just pull that up and it cuts it off and then you can go ahead and get the remaining flower in there that. and again forward forward here would be there um, this is the dark gray model which again you know I really really enjoy uh, I really like the, this color as you can see it has these really nice on that side stickers and again it just plugs into just any outlet as well and so this is going on about three minutes I roughly do about 15 minutes in this mixer um, I feel like that's the perfect you know speed um, what's perfect what's good about these spiral mixers is that it does build the gluten really really strong uh, makes the dough really really airy so uh, these mixers are really really nice for that um, and as you can see this is kind of coming together now not so so much um, but like I said we're only at about four minutes now so um, you know we still got some time to uh, kind of bring everything down together All right, so we're about six minutes in, almost going on seven. As you can see, it is starting to come together a little bit more, um, which is nice. It's fully coming together. The dough and the, the, the flour actually is coming off the side of the bowl, which is nice. Um, and here, eventually, you will see that this dough will come together. Um, and what most people call it, like pumpkining. Pumpkin, I guess it does kind of form into like a pumpkin looking dough. So that is really, really nice. Uh, one thing that I do like to use when I'm mixing my dough is I like to use my uh, thermometer gun. Um, that way I could kind of just keep a track to see, you know, how hot the dough is getting. Uh, right now it's looking at about 61 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, which is, you know, pretty perfect. Um, I don't, I believe what I don't like to do is I don't like to get above, uh, I don't know, 70 degrees, 71, 72, kind of keep it. Um, you know kind of kind of warm uh, but not too too warm so um, as you can see it is coming together now um, give it a couple more minutes and eventually you will see everything kind of pull in together which would be nice so uh, we'll come back here in about a couple minutes or so and I'll show you what that looks like all right so we're now about 12 minutes in as you can see now everything is starting to pull together which is really really nice here within the next minute or so you will start seeing uh the basically what, what we call a pumpkin where it does come all together and kind of almost forms like a pumpkin looking uh dough so as you can see it is starting to pull off the bottom uh nicely so like i said within the next minute or so uh, we should be able to see it all come fully together um, again, what I really love about this mixer that again, um, it really needs it really well it also basically incorporates a lot of air which is really nice is what you basically want uh, when needing so uh, we'll go ahead and come back here in a bit and as you can see um, it is starting to come off pull off from the bottom um, so yeah we'll come back when, again when it is fully incorporated and it starts looking like that pumpkin looking thing all right so we're approaching the 15 minute mark like i said i like to do around 15 minutes and as you can see it is coming together now um kind of almost looks like ice cream some would say as well uh, but it is getting really really smooth and you can see the bottom of the bowl um, is getting nice and clean so again like i said it is coming all together which is the perfect sign um, of the dough basically coming to the point where it's ready uh you know to be finished and taken out so um, as you can see now those ridges or like those ripples that it is building um, again it's just kind of pulling it all together which is perfect um, so we're about 1507 there maybe give it about another couple seconds here um, and let's take a look and see we're looking at about 69.1 degrees Fahrenheit which is perfect like I said I don't like to get the dough too too hot um, overheated um, so really at this point we're about 1528 um, I guess at this point we could go ahead and take a look um, at the dough here so let's go ahead and cut this off and you can see there's some air bubbles there nice and smooth you can see how it is making um, you know that uh, you know kind of almost like a ripple effect so let's go ahead and pull this and you can see the dough um, is basically really really strong this is what you want when mixing um, so I guess really at this point we'll go ahead and finish it off um, I'll go ahead and let this rest now in the mixer for about 15 minutes and Then we'll come back do one last final uh, Mix and then basically the dough is ready then to uh, be into balls But basically I just want to show you how I make my dough 
in my Fomog mixer. Um, again, I'll put the link down below of where you can purchase this as well as the recipe to this dough. Again, this is for about eight dough balls. So um, yeah, so we'll come back here shortly. 15 minutes have stop. And so now as you can see, the dough has basically kind of flattened out a little bit, which is fine. The gluten now is strong. So let's go ahead. We're just gonna do a quick little spin here. Again, I like to keep it at seven. And we're just gonna go ahead and just give it a quick little mix here, pull it all back together. As you can see, it is coming back together there, really nice. And that's perfect. So we'll give it about like 30 seconds. Perfect. At this point, we'll go ahead and let it finish. Um, again, at this point, I'll go ahead now and ball it up. I'll leave it at room temp for one hour. Um, then after the one hour, then I do my balls at that point. Um, and then we'll let that rest for two hours and then the pizza is basically ready to go. So I will post a photo here at the end of what the dough did look like at the very, very end of this mix. Um, again, if you guys like what you see, like and subscribe. Uh, to follow and look out for more videos, I do post weekly videos on my YouTube. Um, I post uh, pretty frequently on my Instagram, which is just going to be the Pizza Guy John. Um, again, this was just a mix or video of the mixer, my Fumag mixer. Really, really love it. Um, easy to clean. Again, I just basically kind of pulled this off. Um, and again, it's easy to clean. So again, if you like what you see, like and subscribe for more future videos. Thank you.